So now, in sum, folks, how much time do I have? One minute. One minute. In sum, what I've shown, in fact, is that Although the Quran speaks very positively about the Bible, it also tells us where the Bible has gone wrong. But on the whole, the Quran gives us a very positive way of looking at the Bible. The Quran is not here to condemn the Bible, but the Quran is here to introduce light. You do not introduce light by driving away the darkness, but you introduce light by turning on the switch. And this is what the Quran does. The Quran did not come condemning the Christians and the Jews and what they believe in, but introducing the light. And where it became necessary, the Quran made it itself clear. On the other hand, if you want to find out tonight which is the book of God, just read the two and you will find that the Quran is that book of God. On October 31st last year, I'll never forget the date, a young woman, a Canadian woman came up to me and she decided to embrace Islam and after I gave her the opening words that brings a person into Islam, I asked her what made you decide to become a Muslim and Sarah, this young Canadian woman said to me, when I read the Quran, Tears flowed down my eyes, and I realized that this is the Word of God. I invite you to read the Book of God. Then he mentions the fact that a Canadian comes up to him and converted to Islam. I have a young lady here who asked personally to be mentioned by name, who was a Muslim, who now worships Jesus as her Lord and Savior. And there she goes. What does this prove? This proves absolutely nothing. All it proves is trying to shock the audience into being shaken by your comments, which prove nothing at all. Now he spoke about the conversion of a certain person. Notice that the person that I mentioned that converted, actually converted after reading. And that is the Quranic message. Read, learn, think. But if you mention somebody that just simply converted, that doesn't really help anything, does it? People might convert for a number of reasons to a number of different things, but are we converting to what makes sense or something that doesn't make sense? That has to be addressed. Of course, as you know today, Islam is a, a, a quickly spreading religion and uh, it, it, time will tell if actually Muslims will become more numerous uh, than Christians. But many Christians are already Muslims because many Christians have actually uh, given up Trinitarianism and actually embraced Islam uh, wholesale. Uh, but some others are Muslim at heart. They have now no, no longer accepted Trinitarianism. They might think that Jesus is a servant of God. Yeah, he's a prophet. He's a good man. And there is only one God. And that's exactly what Muslims are saying. In fact, many Christians, when they embrace Islam, they say, well, that's what I always believe. What Muslims believe in, I always believe this. But, you know, the church was teaching something else. It was confusing. I couldn't get my brain around the Trinity. Now it all makes sense. This is what I believe.